Welcome to another Visual X Masterclass with Mr. Kanyele. Today I want us to look at the topic that has got the biggest marks in your mathematics paper, which is of course trigonometry. If you want to master an, uh, trigonometry, it is important that you must know your definitions. Your definitions becomes important. That's one part. Sine is opposite of hypotenuse. Cos is adjacent of hypotenuse. Tan is opposite of uh, adjacent. Whenever you see tan, change it into sine and cos. It is advisable that you work with sine and cosine. This identity is also very important that you must understand them as well. What do we do when we deal with this section called the reduction formula? How do you reduce big angles into small angles? So all ratios are positive in the first quadrant. Only sine and its reciprocal is positive in the second quadrant. Only tan here, only cosine here. After reduction formula, I want us to go straight to special angles. Special angles are those angles that you can find them without using a calculator. These angles are special angles, you can find them without using a calculator. When the question says do not use a calculator, you think of special angles. Cos sine 20 is the same as cos 70. You must know these things, you can even cancel them out or because when you divide them, they will give you one. Sine 45 is the same as cosine 45. As long as when you add these two, you get 90. Those will be the same. The ratios are different. We're dealing with sine and cos. So if we're saying we're looking for sine 45 degrees, this is what you use, not a calculator. You can either use that 45 or this 45. Remember the definition of sine, it is opposite over hypotenuse. So what is opposite here? It is 1 over hypotenuse, it is root 2. This is how you go about finding uh, this, this without using a calculator. Others, of course, will want you to rationalize the denominator if you want. This is the same as if, if I multiply this by root 2 over root 2. This is the same as this times that. It is root 2 over 2. So this is exactly the same as this. So don't get confused when you get different answers. It is exactly the same thing. This one, the denominator has not been rationalized. This one has been rationalized. By multiplying by 1, you don't change the value of, of, of that problem if you multiply it by 1. Thank you.